In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, brothers and sisters, and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is Thursday of the third week of Easter season. Let us all make ourselves worthy to celebrate the sacred mysteries as we call to mind all our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. All together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, let us feel your compassion more readily during these days when by your gift we have known it more fully so that those you have fed, you have feed, you have freed from the darkness of error may cling more firmly to the teachings of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, Get up and head south on the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza, the desert road. So he got up and set out. Now there was an Ethiopian Enos, a court official of the Candace, that is the queen of Ethiopians, in charge of her entire treasury, who had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning home. Seated in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. The spirit said to Perli, go and join up with that chariot. Philip ran up and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and said, Do you understand what are you reading? He replied, How can I, unless someone instructs me? Who oh, he invited Philip to get in and sit with him. This was the scripture passage he was reading. Like a sheep, he was led to slaughter. And as a lamb before its shear is silent, so he opened in at his mouth. In his humiliation, justice was denied him, who will tell of his posterity, for his life is taken from the earth. Then the inner said to Philip in reply, I beg you about whom is the prophet seeing this? about himself or about someone else. Then Philip opened his mouth and beginning with his scripture passage, he proclaimed Jesus to him. As they traveled along the road, they came to some water and the angel said, look, there is water. What is to prevent my being baptized? Then he ordered the chariot to stop and Philip the Enos both went, went down into the water and he baptized him. When they came out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord is not spilled away, and the Enos say him no more, but continued on his way rejoicing. Philip came to Asotos and went about proclaiming the good news to all the towns until he reached. Caesarea, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Bless our God, you peoples. 
loudly sound his praise. He has given life to our souls and has not lit, lit out our feet sleep. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what has done for me, when I appealed to him in words, praise was on the tip of his tongue. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Blessed be the God who refused me not, my prayer or his kindness. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Please stand. I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats his bread will live forever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him, and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, They shall be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. The Last Supper was not just the last meal that Jesus spent with his uh, apostles. No, ginugunita natin taon-taon tuwing Bebe Santo ang huling hapunan ng Panginoon. At ang huling hapunan na yun ay uh, ang hapunan bago siya dakpin at pahirapan hanggang siya ay uh, uh, pasanin niya ang krus at hanggang siya ay mamatay doon sa krus na kanyang pinasan. So balit ang huling hapunan na yun ay hindi lamang uh, huling alaala ng uh, mga apostol na sila uh, nakiisa sa lamesa no kasama ang Panginoon. Bagkus ang huling hapunan na yon ay habilin at uh, hindi lamang isang simpleng habilin ng Panginoon kundi iyon ay isang pagtataguyod o pag, uh, pagtatatag na isang institusyon na isang sakramento. That was the institution that the establishment of the sacrament. And that sacrament we celebrate until today, right at this very moment, we celebrate that memorial of Jesus, the Last Supper, wherein Jesus did not only eat with his disciples, but actually he left them something they can hold on to, something they can carry along when he is no longer with them bodily no? or in a, in a bodily presence. And so, what was the institution there, the institution of the Eucharist, when Jesus said, take this bread, all of you, no? and we are going to, to say that again today in the Mass. For this bread is my body. No, this is not just the bread that you eat, but this bread is my body. And take this in remembrance of me. No? So do this over and over again. So when I'm no longer with you, you have to do this again, over and over again so that you will always remember me that I am with you always to the end of the earth. Now, wherever you will go and whatever you will do in my name and for the love of me, you will take this memory with you 
because I am going to be with you. If you eat this bread, Jesus said today, well, you will have eternal life. Because this bread, this body of mine, no, comes from heaven, comes from God. And so, we partake of that. More than 2,000 years ago, day after day after day after day, and thousands and thousands all over the world, we remember and we reenact you know, this memory of Jesus, this establishment of the sacrament, the sacrament of the Eucharist. Sacrament is very important for all of us because sacrament you know, for us Catholics you know, are ways for us you know, in order for God to dispense grace for us. Kaya nga, pagkatapos nating makibahagi at makiisa sa misang ito, you know, ito ay sakramento, you know, the Eucharistic sacrament, then we are disposed to receive grace from God. Kaya we feel blessed. No? Magaan ang pakiramdam, maganda ang pakiramdam. Sapagka tayo nakiisa sa misa, tayo yung nandun sa misa, no? whether we are here present no? bodily or even in our time virtually. No? Even our brothers and sisters joining us no? by a live stream, they are one with us. They partake also of the Eucharist as the sacrament. They may not be able to partake of Christ in the in the Eucharist in the host no but they will partake of Christ in their spiritual communion and all of us will partake of that so this is not just a kind of gathering that we eat bread you know, this little piece of bread but actually we receive Jesus as he has commanded in the gospel today anyone who believes and anyone who will partake of this bread and body of mine will have eternal life. And we have to hold on to that promise. No? Panghawakan natin yung pangakong ito. Sapagat ang nangangako sa atin ay hindi lamang isa sa atin, hindi lamang ordinaryong tao na katulad natin who most of the time break our promises. But the one who is promising us is God. God Himself. And how can we say God will not fulfill His promise? Because when He promised to give us, to give us salvation, when He promised to send salvation to us in the Old Testament, He fulfilled that promise, even giving up the very life of His very own Son. God has fulfilled His promise no, time after time, generations after generations, and God is always true to His promise. And Jesus is actually giving us His words once again. If you partake of Me, and if you uh, partake of the bread that comes down from heaven, you will have eternal life. That is the only wish of God for all of us. The only desire of God for all of us, sinners as we are, no, is to save us. Yun ang lagi itatak natin sa ating mga isipan. No? Ang tanging kagustuhan ng Diyos para sa ating lahat ay maligtas tayo. Hindi para parusahan tayo. Kung nakakaramdam kayo ng hindi maganda sa buhay ninyo, sa inyong mga sarili, kung kayo ay sinasabi ninyong minamalas kayo at hindi nyo narating ang inyong mga pangarap, kung hindi maganda ang inyong karanasan sa inyong buhay, hindi ito ang gusto ng Diyos sa atin. Minsan tayo rin ang gumagawa no, ng hindi maganda para sa ating mga sarili. No, we cause all these misfortunes to ourselves. But most of the time, we blame God for that. No? But it's not God who does these things for us. It is ourselves because there's only one desire in the heart of God to save us. And we hear that from Jesus over and over again. No? The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent. I invite you, come. The kingdom of God is open for all of you. I want to save all of you. So please accept and receive the invitation. Ito lang naman ang hinihingi ng Diyos sa atin. Tanggapin ang kanyang paanyaya sa atin sa kanyang kaharian. Marami sa atin ay tumatanggi sa paanyaya ng Diyos. At ito ang hindi maganda sa atin. No? Tayo na nga ang binibigyan, tayo na inaanyayahan, tayo pa ang tumatanggi. And when bad things happen to our lives, we blame God for that. And we say, He is a punishing God. But He is never a punishing God. He is only a loving, forgiving, and merciful God. That is the kind of God that we have. And that is the kind of God that Jesus 
is promising us himself eternal life and so when we receive the grace after partaking of this bread from heaven in the Eucharist what happens so okay na ba yo masaya tayo okay na magandang pakiramdam natin no kulang pa because the lord is giving us another order what is that make that life of yours fruitful so the, the, the life, my life will only become meaningful in you no? if you will make that life fruitful. So, ano ibig sabihin nito? How do we fructify our lives? Paano natin pabubungahin yung buhay natin sa pamamagitan ng uh, pagkain no, na pinagkaisahan natin dito sa banal na misa? Sabi nga, we become what we eat. And if we partake of Jesus in the Eucharist, always, then we become Jesus himself. So the fruits and the meaning of this union and partaking that we are having here today is when we go out of this church and after the Mass, we become Jesus to others because we partake of Jesus. And what does it mean to become Jesus to others? To be like God, to be loving, to be merciful, to be forgiving. No? Magmahal, magunawa, at magpatawad, at kalingain ang iba. Sapagat ito ang Diyos na meron tayo. Laging iniisip ang kapakanan ng kanyang mga minamahal. At ganun din ang hinihiling sa atin ng Panginoon. Become me. Become my presence for others. This Eucharist is not only for you. That is why that's what happened to the apostles, no? When they received Jesus in that final meal, in the Last Supper, no? they, they spread Jesus all over the world. So ito rin, no, ang, uh, ang panawagan sa ating lahat. No? We become Jesus for others. We become no? doers of God's works for others. Good works for others. Let us all stand. We turn now in prayer to God our Father, who from the generosity of his heart has sent his Son Jesus, the bread of life. And so we pray. And in every prayer we all say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the people of God nourish by the Eucharist may unite to persevere in lives of faith and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That through the worthy reception of the Eucharist, we may deepen our love for one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may not fail to share our earthly breath with those in need and so become like the self-giving Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that those who are sick in mind and body may be strengthened by receiving the body and blood of Christ in the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may share in the Lord's promise, heavenly banquet. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the sick members of our families, especially those who are inflicted with the virus, COVID-19, and those... Uh, who have died because of this sickness, that they may be granted eternal rest in, uh, in the paradise of God. And for all of us still struggling to survive this pandemic, that the Lord may continue to protect and guide us. And uh, for all those uh, working, especially our frontliners and medical uh, uh, people, uh, working very hard for our uh, sick brothers and sisters, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who celebrate their birthdays today, for those uh, celebrating their anniversaries, celebrating life, for the intentions of, uh, of each one of us and each member of our families, for the intentions of uh, Miss Betty Ching, and for our personal intentions and for the intentions of this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, guide us in our journey and help us to walk in the path of your Son, Jesus, who is the bread of life, 
We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, Grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it our, ours by a worthy life that we live through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you O lord but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when christ our passover has been sacrificed for with the old order destroyed a universe cast down is renewed and integrity of life is restored to us in christ therefore overcome with paschal joy every land every people exults in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, a fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the life, the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Now full of love and confidence, let us pray to God our Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us give each other the sign of peace. Peace, spirit. peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world, world have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, God you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us everlasting life.
please stand. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us offer Oratio Imperata for vocations for the Archdiocese of Ligay in the Gupan. Let us turn to Mary, help of Christians for the increase of priestly vocations in the church and again in the Gupan. With every prayer, we all say, grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You accompanied your son on his way to Calvary. Walk with our seminarians in their journey to a priestly formation. Mary, help of Christians. Grant your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You are the mother of Good Shepherd. Inspire our youth to follow the voice of your son and courageously answer his call to be shepherds. Mary, help of Christians. Grant your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You were with the apostles in prayer on Pentecost Day. Stay with us in prayer so that the, the fire of the Spirit may descend on our young men seeking their vocations in life. Mary, help of Christians. Grant your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Your son entrusted to you, the beloved disciple at the foot of the cross. Take into your immaculate heart our young men who are reluctant to answer the call to be priests. Mary, help of Christians. Grant her prayers, many vocations to the priesthood. Let us pray. Mary, help of Christians, we place our young men under your motherly protection. Inspire them to serve the church as priests of your son. Take under your motherly care our seminarians being formed for the priesthood. Accompany with your help your priest's sons as they follow your son who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, thank you so much for joining us in the Eucharistic celebration here at the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May you have a meaningful pilgrimage and please have a safe trip back home. And for our brothers and sisters joining us by a live stream in their homes, we also thank you for being with us. And we continue to pray for each other and we continue to be safe. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. And now we shall have the prayer for the blessing and healing of our sick brothers and sisters. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all sickness, and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now we pray for the blessing of your religious articles. Kung meron po kayo religious articles, pakilabas lang po ninyo. At bababa po ako dyan para basbasan ang inyong mga religious articles. Huwag na po kayo umalis sa inyong kinaroroonan para maiwasan po natin ang pagdikit-dikit at manatili tayong ligtas. Let us pray. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May the rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles, and those who will use them, be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <laughs>